Tonight, we're hearing from the wife of an Iraqi refugee who lived in Redford Township and cut his tether to escape deportation. His attorney says more refugees are doing the same for fear they'll be killed when they're sent back to Iraq. 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash is live with a closer look at his story. Anu. Well, Glenda and Allen, special agents did find and arrest him last week, and now he's one of three Iraqi refugees the U.S. Attorney's Office is charged for cutting off a tether to avoid deportation. Scared, nervous, um, all you can do is cry and pray, and that's all we've been doing is just hoping for, you know, the best, for something to change, you know, just for him to at least get a chance, you know, to stay here and, you know, prove himself, because... Everybody makes mistakes. Belkis Florido's husband, Ali Al Sadoun, is an Iraqi refugee who spent eight years behind bars for breaking and entering. He was scheduled to be deported following that conviction. And on the day he was to be sent back, federal investigators say Al Sadoun cut off his tether to escape deportation. Shanta Driver is his immigration attorney and says there are other Iraqi refugees doing the same thing because they're afraid they'll be killed once they are sent back. They're looking for safety. They are trying to buy time. They're not trying to do something illegal. They are they are taking the self help measures they need to stay alive. On Friday, special agents arrested Ali Al Sadoun in Redford. They say he refused to open the door and used his wife and kids as a shield. They were ultimately able to arrest him. Ali's brother was killed, and that going back to Iraq is a death sentence. I th I think a Detroit jury or a Wayne County jury could be very sympathetic to his plight and to what he did. He never left his home. He was just there with his kids and his wife, so I, I don't think that there's any criminal intent. According to the U.S. Attorney's Office, Al Sadoun is one of three Iraqi refugees who have been charged with a federal crime for cutting off their tether to avoid deportation. When asked why they should be given special exception after breaking the law, driver says they did their time. I, I just can't imagine how anyone could be considered guilty of a crime for defending their own life, for not going along with their own demise. Immigration and Custom Enforcement, or ICE, had no comment on refugees cutting off their tethers. Now, I did reach out to the U.S. Attorney's Office and received a statement saying, in part, our office will not turn a blind eye to anyone who cuts off a tether or who assists someone in doing so. As for Al Sadoun, he'll be back in court on this latest charge on August 20th. That full statement from the U.S. Attorney's Office is on our website, WXYZ.com. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. All right. Thank